What's up YouTube, it's your boy, the Mediocre Moose, here today with a quick video showing you how to set up your buying binds. Alright, so there's a couple ways to do this. The first way is probably the way that most of us know. You can just simply open up the, the console, hitting the tilde key, and then you type bind space, the key that you want to bind the buying item to. So let's say KP underscore INS, that's going to be the zero on your number pad. Space, quotation mark, buy, space, and then what you want to buy with this key. So let's say if I wanted to buy like a vest and a helmet, I'll type vest helm. Close the uh, quotation marks, hit enter. So now when I hit the insert button, it buys me vest as well as head armor. In the description below, I'll be putting all the uh, descriptions and keywords for all items in the game that you can buy, so you can set up your uh, buying binds the way that you want to set them up. But uh, in case you're curious how I set them up, here's a quick little uh, screenshot of the way I like to set things up. Alright, so using the console button is one way to set up your buying binds, but it's a little bit annoying. You don't want to have to like copy paste into here multiple times because it only takes one line at a time. Maybe you want to set up multiple, you know, buying binds all at once. So the way that I like to do it is to use a notepad file and save it as a .cfg config file and then drop it into the config folder of CSGO. So let's take a look at how to do that. So let's exit out of the game. All right, so here's a little notepad that I have set up with all my buying binds that I want to do. So KP underscore insert, that's going to be the zero on your number pad. It's going to buy you a vest and a helmet. I have the number one on my keypad, which is also uh, known to the computer as KP underscore ends to buy a tech nine if I'm a terrorist or buy a five seven if I'm a counter terrorist, right? So currently right now I have the CZ75 swapped out for each of these positions. So if I hit the, the number one on my uh, keypad, it's gonna buy me a CZ75, whether I'm on T side or CT side. The KP down arrow, that's the number two on the keypad, buys me an AK-47 if I'm a terrorist, and it buys me an M4A1 if I'm a counter-terrorist. So whenever you're on either terrorist side or counter-terrorist side, if there is a weapon that is specific to that team, you have to put a semicolon here if you wanna use that same number to buy different items depending on which side of the, the match you're on. Okay, my page down, which is my number three on my keypad, buys me a flashbang. The number four buys me an HE grenade. Keypad number five will buy me a smoke grenade. KP right arrow, which is number six on the number pad, buys me a Molotov if I'm on T side. It buys me an incendiary grenade if I'm on counter terrorist side. KP home, which is number seven on the keypad, will buy me a defusal kit. And KP page up, which is number nine on the keypad, will buy me just the vest. If I'm on CT side, usually is when I'm going to use that bar. All right, so you can copy and paste all these binds and whatever other buying binds you want to do into a notepad file and save it as a .cfg file. All right, so once you have your .cfg file, what you're going to do is you're going to have to drop it into the config file folder in CSGO. So for me, that's going to be on my Windows C drive. I'm going to go to Program Files x86. I'm going to go down to Steam. I'm going to go to Steam Apps, Common, Counter Strike Global Offensive, CSGO, CFG. Right? And what you're going to do is I saved mine as bybinds.cfg. So then all you got to do is drop that CFG file into this folder. Okay? And then you're going to hop back in game. All right, so now that you're back in game, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna wanna execute this buying bonds. So open up your console using the tilde key. Then you're gonna type exec, E-X-E-C space, and then whatever the name of that config file you saved it as. I saved it as buy binds, so I'm gonna type buy binds. So what's gonna happen when I hit enter is it's gonna execute all of the lines in that notepad file and basically set up all my binds for me so I don't have to manually type them in. It's just a little bit easier this way in my opinion. So I hit enter and that's it. I'm all set, right? So I hit zero on the number pad. Okay, I don't have enough money. Okay, I'm in an offline server. 
So since I don't have enough money, I'm gonna set up my server so that it's the way I want it and I have enough money. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit exec space server setup. And if you don't know what this config file is, check out my previous video on setting up an offline server with the right settings so that it makes it easier for you to practice your smokes and nades. Okay, so now that I executed that config file, it's gonna give me plenty of money and the match has restarted. Okay, so now that I have plenty of money, I'm gonna show you how the buying binds work, right? Um, I hit zero, that buys me my vest and head armor. For me, I hit one, that buys me the CZ75. I hit two on my number pad, buys me an M4A4. Hit three, flashbang, four, grenade, five, smoke, six, uh, incendiary grenade, seven, defusal kit. And then if I didn't have a vest and helmet already, number nine would buy me uh, just the vest. So now, you know, this is useful um, if you want to buy without having to go into these menus, um, which could be a little tedious and slow. You know, why I notice that a lot of lower skill levels is people are spending a ton of time in spawn just trying to buy stuff. And most rounds, most games, you know, you're going to buy the same things every round. You know, you're, com you're most commonly going to buy an M4A4. You're, you know, almost always going to buy either a vest or a vest and helmet. All right? These are things that you buy repeatedly, so why not? set up a way to make it a little bit easier for you to buy them and a little bit quicker. All right guys, so feel free to mess around with the buying binds. You know, I like using the number pad, but you can use any keys on the keyboard that you want. You know, if you prefer just using uh, my buying binds, you know, I put a link in the description to where you can get my config file so you can copy it exactly or you can copy it, use it as a template and put in your favorite weapons. So when you buy a little bit faster, that helps you get out of spawn a little bit faster and you can get into position, you know, and get set up before the uh, the opposing team, you know, gets into their positions, right? Because, you know, you have 15 seconds to buy at the beginning of the round, which is typically plenty, but if you spend some of that time talking and planning with your team, um, you may not have enough time, especially at lower skill levels. All right, guys, hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button if you aren't already subscribed to me, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Comment below if you have any trouble setting this up and I'll do my best to help you out. Until next time, get out there and stay average.